really nervous. And um, after Morgan's speech, I was extra nervous. Trevor made me feel better, though, when he said that everything was supposed to be under two minutes. So I was like, yes. And then Trevor spoke for eight minutes. <laughs> but he calmed me down because he said a bunch of funny things, and I was laughing, and then I wasn't paying attention. And then I was like, oh, I didn't say anything funny in my speech. So um, I really was nervous, though. That's the first line of my speech. But I'm going to start that now. And it's under two minutes. So we'll get out of here quick. I have to say, I was really nervous <laughs> to write this speech. I didn't know what I was going to say to send us off to college and the rest of our lives. I was looking for some brilliant epiphany to share, and then I realized it doesn't really matter what I say here. What I say isn't going to guide us for the rest of our lives. I'm up here to say thank you, goodbye, and good luck for everyone. We have been an extremely close class. No one has, hung, has gone without a friend here in their time at Fairgrove. We've had so many different talents, too. Everyone here has some specialty. A lot of us found ours in high school. We're a super hardworking class, whether it was our grades, clubs, jobs, or for our sports. We all worked hard at something. Like Colton said about Volleyball State, you know everyone worked hard for it when people who didn't even play were crying. The same is true for graduation. People who had a hand in us getting to this point are proud of the accomplishment, and I guarantee there will be some tears here, if there haven't been already. We've had a ton of support getting here, and I'm sure that in these busy weeks, when we've been running around like crazy, we've all remembered to thank the people that have helped us along. We should probably mention them anyways, though. Thank you, teachers, who stayed after school to help us. Thank you, friends, who have supported us. And thanks to the coaches who pushed us and helped us reach new limits. Most of all, thank you parents, or those who acted as parents. You took care of our basic needs and so much more. Driving us places and teaching us things we will never forget. I wouldn't be in trouble if I didn't mention my parents, but they definitely deserve to be mentioned. They've helped me through sports, friendships, homework, and my struggle to valedictorian. But most of all, they've helped me grow up. We all have some more growing up to do, but our supporters and role models have shown us how to do it. And now it's our time for us to go out and try it ourselves. We have, we have achieved a lot in the last 13 years to get to this point in our lives. And now we're looking forward at what else we can achieve. Our class has aspiring doctors, missionaries, chemical engineers, highway patrolmen, and even more. What we have learned from Fairgrove is that we can make it through anything. Maybe not with an A plus or a 4.0, but we can get there. Ralph Waldo Emerson said it best, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Fairgrove has helped us to become who we are and has taught us how to grow up. Now we get to go out and make everyone proud. We're all going in different directions to achieve different things, but we all have a piece of fair grove in us. Whether we were tigers or bulldogs or panthers next, we were eagles first. When you think back to high school, I hope you think of this moment when we're all connected, we're all proud of each other and ourselves, and we were all surrounded by some of the best people we will ever meet. That's what I'll remember. Thanks for a great 13 years, and remember that what lies before you can't compete with the fair grove that lies within you.